Hey there, it's Erica from Ever Educating, and I do videos about teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for college instructors. This is going to be actually a, a series because I've just gotten access to Canvas as part of where I'm adjuncting currently. Um, before, I had access to Sakai LMS, and I have a video tutorial about that that I'll link below. But I know Canvas is a lot more popular, so I wanted to have basically a series of short videos about how I use it to curate my class website for my students. And so if you're new to Canvas, you know, as well, you might find these videos helpful. If you do, go ahead and click like and subscribe. All right. So today we're going to go over the element pages on the Canvas LMS. And it's basically going to be your main builder of your course website. So I thought we'd start here and then make our way up to modules. You want to make sure your site is unpublished so that students can't see it over here at the top right. And also, if you go to settings, just one kind of quick setting thing that I want to point out, if you go to navigation, this third one right here, you can change the order of your toolbar, how you and your students will see it. So I have the order that I want here, but let's say I wanted announcements to appear after the home page, I can just move that up, right, so you can reorganize it. And let's say, like, we're not going to do any quizzes, you can add it here so that it's hidden from students, and click save. And now the new order is you know done so that's just one feature i wanted to show you before we got really got started but again so here's my home page and the home page itself is a page tool right from the page tool so i've designed it editing it from the course template i received from my university but as you can see here i have an image i have a little welcome this is my course description actually i have a start here image that when you click goes to the start here page and then also these pages that are created by the university for me that they can access as well okay so this is one example of a page on canvas but let's go ahead and go to the pages tool okay and it goes to the front page and then i want you to hit view all pages okay? uh, there's a lot of pages here because it was created for the, the template but basically you're going to go ahead and on the top right click add page and then you can name it whatever you'd like. So maybe you're going to have a page for every week of the semester, or maybe you have a page for every unit. Or maybe you have pages that are specific. So here's a page about citation styles. You know, here's a page about where to go if you're lost about this certain element of class. Here's a page for these different topics that we'll be learning. It's really up to you to decide what pages you want to create. But let's say you're going to have a page for the first week of class, right? Um, and maybe you'll call that module one because modules are the easiest way to structure Canvas courses. So let's say module slash week one. So that'll be the name of the page. And then here you go, and you're just going to build it, right? Um, so you've seen all see these tools all the time as far as building a text page. But let's say here, rather than paragraph, we're going to have heading two. And so you have, you know, week one. And maybe you have the topic, right, that we're going over in week one. And after that, it'll go back to paragraph. You can choose, obviously, the font size. Um, you can also choose if you're bolding, italicizing, and all that jazz. So you have here, maybe you're going to say, say, okay, you know, for Tuesday, and then the date, so let's say August 25th, okay? Um, and then you have, all right, you know, classwork. And then you describe what the classwork will be, right? So maybe like in today's Zoom call, we're gonna be going over X, Y, and Z, or maybe you're not doing it synchrony, uh, synchronously. So you might have, okay, well classwork, it's you know Tuesday, but we're not doing, we're not having a Zoom meeting, but your classwork is to watch these three video recordings that I created for you, right? And so you describe basically the homework here, and then you might have any links connected to that classwork, okay? So if you already created assignments, you can go here straight to assignments and click which one is connected to the classwork. So let's say just for example, that the classwork is to do this activity, the get to know you, each other activity. So you can link that very easily here. And then you have after the classwork, okay, you know, homework. And then you describe what their homework is to be. So maybe it's to do, you know, reading one and reading two and then do an activity. And again, if you recreate the activity, you can just link it immediately from this right side toolbar. Okay. Um, and so you have that here. Now, let's say reading 
One is something that connects to something online. So it's just a URL. You can highlight it and say link to URL and you just add it in. So let's just add my web page, for example. Okay, and now it's hyperlinked. And you can do the same with reading two, but if it's not online, then maybe reading two is just like reading, you know, um, chapter one from textbook, right? And so you could have that as well. Um, and so you have this page that you're building for the week one, you know, Tuesday. Okay, so maybe Tuesday is header three. Okay, and you can bold as you'd like. Okay, so that's just if you want to only use text and keep it very simple, this is an option for you. Let's say you want to liven up this page. You know, one thing you can do is add media or, or images. And so, for example, if the classwork part of it was to watch this video, you can go ahead and share and click copy the link. And then you could have, you know, watch this video on reverse outlining. And then highlight it, click the link. Okay. Um, and go ahead and insert. And now it will be embedded into this particular page. Uh, you could also use the embed code. So if you had here insert and embed, you can do the embed code, but it does automatically for you if you do the link. So that's just the easier way of doing it. Okay. And so you have this video that they can add to this page. Um, let's say you had, okay, you know, week one is about talking about what research means. So maybe you've already added an image into your Canvas folders. Um, that's about, that has a picture of a computer or where the case may be, right? So let's say here, um, I'll just use this one as an example. You click it, you can add alt text, or you can just say, well, it's just descriptive, um, in which case it doesn't need alt text. Update, and now an image has been added to it, right? Um, and so you keep building as you go. And so you can add all these, t all these different elements as you're building, uh, but, you can also just keep it simple with just text. It's really up to you to decide how you know much you add into this particular page, okay? And so you have here, do you want only you to be able to edit this or can students do it as well? Um, and then you say save. So this is what the page looks like. When you go down here, you can click here and it takes you to YouTube, or you can just go ahead and click the preview and it shows you the video actually inside, and then you can minimize it too, okay? Or if you wanted to, you can edit here, and you can get the embed code. And then here, underneath, you can say, you know, insert media, embed, Paste the code, okay, and now the video is bigger on here, okay? Uh, okay, to get this preview to not appear, you have to say disable inline preview, update link, and now save. And as you can see here, now it's just, it goes straight to YouTube. So if you want to save space on your LMS, you can just have links that, move outside the LMS versus having them embedded. So it's really up to you to decide which path you want to take. Okay. And so when they click on these links, so you have here, you know, reading one for homework, it goes to the website that you've linked for them. Okay. Um, if you have created an assignment and you click it, it goes to that assignment page. So go ahead back here. So this is what the page I created looks like. You can, currently it's not actually published. If you click view all pages, okay, um, you see here, if it has this X, it means it's not published yet. If it has the check mark, it means it is, okay? So you can decide which ones you want to be published and which ones you don't want to be published on your particular page. So here's the one I just created here. It's not currently published, but it can be. Something else to know, if it's published, you can click on here and you can duplicate it if you want to keep a lot of things the same from week to week or unit to unit. 
You can also say use as front page. And when you do that, when you go to the home page, it's now that page you've just chosen to be the front page. Okay, so this will so what students will first see when they go to your website. And again, to change that, it's very simple. You can go here if you want, choose home page. And here are some options, but let's change that. I want my front page page to do that. And so now that's back to how I want it for the first page student sees when they enter our website. Keep in mind, you can make this as, again, complex or, as, or not as you want. So here's one page and this image, when you click on it, it goes to another page. So you can interconnect them as you'd like, okay? Um, and so all these are the different pages that are connected to each other. So when you're building a website, this is where I believe you should start, is start creating individual pages for your course. You might want to take some time and actually outline your ideas for how the course should be structured. Um, you can, again, do this week by week or unit by unit, whatever the case may be. And so you can get a sense of what pages you can create to begin with. My next Canvas tutorial will be, be about discussions. And so you use this for asynchronous class discussion. So I'll go over how to build these in your Canvas website. So if you want to make sure not to miss that, go ahead and subscribe to this channel to be notified about future episodes of this series. If you have any questions about what I just went over, or if you want me to make sure I create a video about a specific element of the Canvas you know, LMS, do let me know in the comments below so I can do that in future videos. Uh, but if not, go ahead, if you haven't yet, and click that like button. I'll see you next time.